All right, everyone, I am in North Platte, Nebraska. I'm in the downtown of the city. I like it. There's some interesting looking buildings here in architecture. Look at this Neville Theater. All the ornate carvings on top. And they've got this great old hotel, Hotel Pawnee. Now it's sitting empty. Which is a damn shame because this is a beautiful building. Looks like there is a restaurant of some sort right here in the bottom floor, but the hotel itself is empty. Yeah, look at all that. Right there, all oh, the carving. Beautiful. The light fixture. Nebraska Historic Site, Hotel Pawnee, 1929. Yeah, it's on the National Register. But it's not been maintained. 
you go inside or take a peek on the inside here. Yeah. Yeah, the building's just sitting empty. Yeah, that's a damn shame. Anyway, uh Yeah, another look at this theater. That's really nice. I'm going to head over here. There's a really cool looking street over here, so I'm gonna go check it out. All right, this is the historic canteen district here in downtown. Lots of shopping and restaurants. And they've got lights strung out across the street. I bet it looks uh, really nice at night down here, especially on the weekends. It's about four o'clock on a Tuesday and it's about 100 degrees out here, so it's a little quiet at the moment. But this looks like a pretty nice, vibrant downtown overall. A lot of these stores are open. There's one over there that's closed. There's that uh, hotel again. We were just there. Hotel Pawnee. A little bit more of a city center over here. I can see a mural. We'll go check that out in a second. Yeah, it's really nice here though. They've got the uh, brick roads mixed in with the concrete. It's really well maintained. I want to check out this mural. That's pretty nifty. Yeah, I like that. I saw this alley. Curious what's going on here. Got a lot of graffiti. Here at the end, where the color comes in. <laughs> Bursts of color. Versus over there. And I uh, got a little something here, too. All right. Bash. I wonder what that means. Hmm. All right, I think I'm at the end of the downtown. It's not huge. This is not a huge city. Like I said, about 24,000 people. but it does look pretty nice here. Anyway, I'm going to uh, maybe drive around a neighborhood or two right near downtown here. And then there's some uh, pretty cool sights to see. I'm gonna go there next. All right, I'm going to uh, go through downtown here and just check out a couple neighborhoods real close see what they look like um, I checked the numbers for North Platte and it's not bad the uh, poverty rate here is 11.9 percent US average is 11.2 so that's pretty close um, median household income is 52,600 as opposed to right around 65,000 for the average for the US as a whole and the per capita is a little over 27,000 versus a little over 35,000 in the rest of the US um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that for uh, the average or the uh, cost of living I will get that spit out it's pretty low here compared to a lot of the rest of the country that house has tremendous potential. It's got that huge porch. Um, anyway, looks like I'm heading into the neighborhoods a little bit. Older homes, as you would expect. That's what uh, I'm in a city to see. Some beautiful houses here. Wow, look at these. 
some on the other side here. Always get people commenting, why didn't you go to the newer, nicer part of town? I, I like the old architecture. So that's the answer to your question if you're going to type that in the comments. Even that's interesting home. That one uh, is abandoned, it looks like. But there's some uh, interesting homes right here, right along the street. Pretty good size, too, a lot of them. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn around and go through downtown to the other side. See what the houses look like over there. Alright, I'm uh, making my way through downtown. I'm on the other side. I'm going to go see some uh, neighborhoods over here. Alright, I'm through downtown. Look at that old house. It's in serious disrepair, but it's a beauty. I hate to see that. Right next door, that one looks awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna drive through and see what we see. Yeah, we got some big houses here. Uh, a lot of trees. Yeah. Some beautiful homes over here. I like that a lot. Look at this one. Man, that's a three-story house. That's big. Huge porch around it. That's really nice. I love houses that look like these. Even if they are in disrepair, which some of them are, you can tell that, uh, well, they were amazing when they were in good condition and they could be amazing now. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of beautiful here. All right, well, I just wanted to see the houses close to downtown. Anyway, there are some things to see here in North Platte. So uh, I'm gonna go there right now and check a few of them out. Or in a second anyway, because I'm still looking at houses here. Anyway, yeah, there's some cool stuff here in town gonna go look at it now all right that is the golden spike tower you see a bunch of trains over there as I understand it this looks out over the largest train yard in the world so I got to see that I got a passenger train car here I'm guessing maybe we can go in it we'll see all right I'm in the tower now in the elevator on my way up. Be interested to see this. It costs eight dollars, by the way, to come up this tower and look at these trains. Eight big ones. I hope it's worth it. All right, I have just stepped out of the elevator. I'm getting ready to go out on the deck. Yeah, there's that car we were just looking at. That railroad passenger car. In the Bronco. This is North Platte right there. It's all right. Let's go see it. The world's largest train yard. This is it. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. This is a lot of trains. <laughs> a 
look. Wow. I'm going to zoom in a little here so you can see better. How about that? Hopefully you're getting a good look. That is something, isn't it? And look here, here's a train just pulling out. You can hear the uh, engine as it begins to pull all these cars. I'm using my uh, zoom, so it's a little shaky. Now this train is pulling out right now. How can I say I love trains? <laughs> I had a pretty good miniature train at my house. Alright. I'm out on the grounds now below the tower. I'm wondering if I can go in that. I'm gonna go see. I'm thinking probably not though. Hmm. Well, I'll try the door. Nope, it's locked. Oh well, that would have been fun. Well, you know what? I'm gonna head to the next place. Now this is Buffalo Bill Cody's house. Built in 1886. Uh, this is where he would spend his time when he wasn't in his traveling show. And uh, he would entertain guests here. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? It cost him $3,900 to build this. Yeah, I had to see this because as a kid, I loved reading about Buffalo Bill. He's one of my favorite uh, characters to read about as a kid. So I'm kind of excited that I am here at his home here in North Platte, Nebraska. That's cool. Of course, there's a whole ranch here. Scouts Rest Ranch. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's quiet right now. It's, uh, geez, 5.30 Tuesday. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Anyway. Yeah, there it is. Buffalo Bill Cody's house. All right, one of the other uh, landmarks here is Buffalo Bill Cody's trading post. It's pretty cool. You can see guys up there uh, guarding the um, fort. <laughs> see him up there. And then, uh, <laughs> look over here. I've got a guy. I'll zoom up to it. He's got an arrow in his butt. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here and do a little shopping. It's the inside of the place, by the way. I'll give you a quick shot of it. It's just stuff, touristy stuff. Pretty much all that's in here. I'm gonna look at uh, t-shirts, see if there's one that I like. They have a miniature, a recreation of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. And it's much bigger than I thought it ever was. And that must have been the train that carried everybody. I mean, it's huge. What a show that must have been. 
I would like to go back in time and see this Indian village. That's something, isn't it? Yeah, that is awesome. I believe this is Buffalo Bill himself. The showman. Yeah, that's cool. It's a pre pretty cool little place. Of course, I've got an Indian here. Oh, what's this guy doing? He's paying, uh, he's just sitting here playing checkers. <laughs> Fort Cody Stockade. And we can come out here. So you got a few things back here. An old cabin. <laughs> and Fort Cody Jail. It's kind of small. I don't think you could keep me in there. <laughs> Whoa. And check this out. Look at this. Now this is awesome. This reminds you of that uh, Muffler Man and uh, what that statue in Dodge City I forgot already. Looks like it's cut from the same mold though, doesn't it? Yeah, that is fantastic. And I got a TP over here. Yeah, pretty cool. I am in Cody Park right now. I want to look at this locomotive. It's a Union Pacific Challenger. Uh, tells us a little bit about it. Built in 1943. Uh, traveled speeds up to 70 miles per hour. And uh, it says this is the only one of this class on display in the world. Yeah, I've read about this. And I love trains, what can I say? So I wanted to come see it real quick. North Platte apparently has the only one in the world that you can see. This uh, Challenger locomotive. Wow. That's a beast, isn't it? Let me step back a little. Well, it looks like we can go up in it. I'll do that in a second. Let me step back a little. Yeah, that's a beauty. I'm going to go... Uh, Take a look inside. All right, I'm gonna take a look. Wow, something, isn't it? And we can go inside. Yeah, that's something. Could you imagine? Could you imagine being behind the wheel of this thing? Wow. Very, very cool. You can see some uh, passenger cars here on the other end of the locomotive. And there's some stairs. Can we go inside? Yeah, sure enough can. Wow, it's a little museum. Do not play with train. That's no fun. <laughs> wow. Women of the railroad. Platte Valley Route, Omaha. Yeah, that's cool. Those of you who watched the Omaha video know that Union Pacific has their headquarters in that fine city. Yeah, this is a mail, huh? Oh, look at that. What's in the caboose? We even get to go in the caboose. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Is that where uh, guys would sleep maybe? Look, it's got a sink. Is it a bathroom? What do we have in here? Oh, there's a toilet. That is so fantastic. Yeah, so I am in the caboose. This is where they would sit, I guess. Up here, when the train was uh, riding on the rails. I've never been inside a caboose. This is my first time. This is cool. I guess you could either sit or sleep here, huh? And it even has a, a uh, stove to keep it warm. I suppose you could cook too, look. Yeah, you could cook there. That is awesome. That was worth coming over here for. Here's the caboose I was just inside. And the rail cars. Anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, rural Kansas and of course, the city of North Platte. Our next video, not sure. I might do another one here in Nebraska, but for sure after that, we are heading to Rapid City, South Dakota. Really looking forward to that. So be looking for one of those videos coming up soon.